So I'm gonna hold this hat in for a couple minutes. All right, guys, so we had a Falk Code 69. I was out here the other day. This is uh, the Infinity Green Speed, the one that I like the most. Has the three-phase scroll variable speed compressor coupling. See here, we got a 25 ENA zero, which is the 20s here. So uh, we had a Falk Code 69. Uh, it has 62 consecutive errors. Um, so place these wires here. All right, so we got the yellow, black, green, plus your ground that goes to the unit. Also, it tells you to plug the harness for the sensor. Okay, that's at the compressor. If you look there, we got the terminals for the high voltage, and then we got the wires for the uh, sensor. All right, so I, I tested here. I was getting I was getting the unit grounded. I'll show you guys here. <clears throat> Tight spot. Probably gotta get that fan motor out. Let's see what I can do here. So this way you guys can see. So I go from the terminal. Look at that. <coughs> ground it out. 22.6. That's it. You're out of commission. Get about thirteen point three ounces. Get that all out. Right, guys if you ever have to remove the bolts out of the compressor I love this tool it's made from Wira nice and easy especially when it's deep in there it comes out good what I like about it is because of the handle feature I can switch it over and I can continue putting it in and moving around put it up just to get it right out purchase this tool man it's awesome all right, guys, we're gonna get this compressor out. So I had a, I had a, I cut the discharge line, and I had to unsweat the suction line. It looks like it reduces from seven eighths to three quarter. But anyway, so hey, I love this thing, compressor. Take this compressor out easily. One man job. The Versatec. Let's call it compressor tote. Compressor tote. I don't have a part number, but this guy. This is easy for one man guy. Comes out just like so. And that's it, guys. So, spring this all way. Alright, so we gotta clean this shit out, man. So, I'm gonna get my ass in there. Maybe I should have took the fan motor out. Maybe I'm being lazy. Maybe everyone will call me a damn hack. Oh, look at him. He's getting in the unit. Oh, God, look at him. Look at this guy. He's getting inside. All right, let me clean this up, guys. Be right back. Call me a hack, whatever. Let's vacuum out what's there before we uh, put in that compressor. Something I like to do, I think is the right way to do it. Clean it out since you're in there already, you know? Why not? You already got it open. Why don't you just clean it out? It make no sense to put it in. And it's all filled up with all this crazy dirt, you know? You just want to... Make sure you give it a... I figured that would be the right way to do it. Just 
moving out the dirt in here. Taste up the ends. Don't want to get any water in there. Water will kill the unit. And look at the compressor. That's Drew, man. Drew, man. You guys gotta look out for him. What's up? I'm putting the I'm putting in the compressor right now. Oh, nice. Drew, man, there you go. It's a shout out for Drew, man. Yeah, give me a call back later. I, I gotta admit this out, but then I'd see they're sending me to some industrial place in St. Pete. So. All right, All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. See? All right, guys, you gotta get up. Get a shout out to Drew, man. He's starting to make some videos. Let's get this compressor in. All right, straighten it out. Got it backwards. There you go. Look at that. She's in there. Somewhat. All right, guys. She's in. Got a little tech tip for you guys. I got no magnet right at this end, so it's pretty deep in there, man. I ain't planning on going there no time soon. So, got my magnetic tip. Gonna hook up this baby for the nuts on the compressor. I'm gonna go right in and uh, give a couple turns. Give a couple turns right there. Get me started. Let's go get the other ones in. There you go. Put this back where that one was at. That was the rusted one. Got a turn in there. We'll get all four of them. Tighten them up. Pretty easy peasy, guys. So you don't gotta get up in there and. And break a neck I know you guys try to work a little bit smarter kept the fan out wasn't too much in my way so I'm not worried about it but uh, just to show you guys here look at it, got it all started that's it let's go fast it in there. we're gonna fast it in right now I love about this uh, we man stands up forward you could adjust it and uh, it's pretty cool man got that nice and tight nice and started you don't got to put your head all the way in there and do some breath all right. still pulling the vacuum Got the compressor in. I'm gonna put a new inverter also. We'll give you new screws in the it's pretty cool. Give you some new screws, which is pretty cool. Bottom ones in first. So I'll give it a little snooze. Too much torque, guys. It's just plastic. It's 
pretty much color coded. Shit is dummy proof. All right, so always make sure my terminals are tight, man. You want a good connection. Even with your capacitor, your contactors, make sure you get a good connection, man. That's the whole thing about this thing. Well, any system, seriously. I just make sure it's nice and tight, man. You don't know why it's getting hot, getting burnt. Cause a lot of problems. <laughs> Same thing here. Tweak. Nice tight. That's it. She's in. About 470 microns. Let it sit for a little bit more. Alright, guys. Let that sit for a little bit more and we're good to go. Looks like uh, we're holding at 490, exactly 500 microns. Everything is off. It's been sitting for about a few minutes already. So we're about 490. I think we're good, man. I don't think we got any leaks, nothing raised up. I think we're good to go. Let's gas her up. She's on E.